some uh, uh, difficult days in our life. Uh, I was raised down at Fed Station, down at the right where those people jump off of the ridge. We raised right there for about 17 years, preaching Lord. There was times that uh, we didn't know where the next meal was coming from. My dad was a coal miner and got hurt in the mines. Didn't have a lot of things uh, to help out as we do nowadays. Uh, that we never missed a meal. Come on, Lee. I was thinking a while ago, Brother Richard. Uh, the charity, the uh, Bless things you. that people does to help one another. Uh, I don't know their names, but I do know it happened. <laughs> Amen. Times Amen. when we didn't have much to eat and somebody said the church at Lansing or a certain person at Lansing had some potatoes. You could go <coughs> get it. It was about three miles from my house up to uh, Lansing on a bicycle. And we went up there and found them and laid a bag of uh, baked potatoes across the bars of the bicycle and come down through there with them. If you've been down on the Lansing side, you know it's steeps and curves. But we've done made it to where we are today by the grace of God. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. If he has to feed, send a bird your way, giving praise and honor and glory for us. Amen. 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 Bless you, Lord. When you look back at it, isn't it something that a great man of God, a great man of God, uh, had to, and he ran for his life one day because a woman was threatening him. Mm -hmm. But the man of God wound up out there by a brook. Uh-huh. About a brook. Come on, Lee. He drank out of the brook, mm -hmm. and you'll have something brought to you. And you know what? God supplied his need. Yes. Lord, yes. Amen. Yes, the devil would like to torment you and torment me about the way it looks like things is going to happen, the way it looks like things is going to turn out. But you know what's the best to do? Take it day by day. Amen. Thank God today. Amen. Lord, be merciful unto him. Yes. Amen. And I thank God. Uh, uh, I know one time, I'll, I'll, I'll say this before we get into the word of the Lord. Uh, one time, tell it, uh, uh, my brother, had, he was at Thedville, and uh, he'd come, on, come home that day, and he had a newspaper he'd picked up someplace. Somebody needs to hear this. It was a, uh, a Fed Tribune. But, it, but before that, there had been a dog come down the road. And... You know, it was a strange dog. So we, we were kind of used to people uh, coming down in there hunting and losing their dog. So we put the dog up and thinking, well, somebody will come by. Uh, maybe somebody will come hunting for me. But my brother come in that day, had a newspaper, got to looking through the newspaper, and it talked about a dog being lost. And where they about where they lost the dog at, and that was a dog that was in our co house. We'd taken care of him, and it said reward offered. Well, we just wanted to be, you know, give people their dog back, and we went next door to our neighbors and called him, and he come down, and that dog and he were really happy to see each other. But before he left, he pulled out a. a a bit of money, I don't remember how much it was now, and gave it to my mom. <laughs> and I'll tell you one thing, we brother. made it to Fedville to get some groceries for the house. <laughs> <laughs> to a dog. Oh, hey, We're serving the one today that not only did he make us, hey. he made the dog. Yeah. <laughs> and everything that is Preach found therein. Bless I'm glad for you. He made you. He made who yeah. you are. Yeah. Bless who you are. Yeah. Bless oh, the Lord. God. This may seem like a different message, but it'll be good. God it's a familiar God. scripture. God. But I want to leave it with you today. Amen. It's found in Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19, if you want to turn there. 
I'm glad for the testimonies for everything, and I like to hear how people got converted, how they come to the Lord. It's a sad thing to have to listen to and uh, hear somebody say I, uh, that my friend didn't make it. They oh, waited yeah. too long. Yeah. Yeah. That's a sad thing to yeah. think that somebody went out into eternity to Lord. stand before a living God and don't even know who they're going to stand before. Right. We need an acquaintance with Him, saints. Yes, we, we need to be acquainted with Him. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. You have your Bibles with you, won't you stand while we read uh, yeah. about ten verses or so out of the Word of the Lord. It's found in St. Luke, chapter 19, and uh, we want to read here at, uh, yeah. uh, start reading here at verse uh, 28. Uh, and when he, talking about Jesus, had thus spoken, he went before ascending up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass, when he was come nigh to Bethphage and Bethany, at the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in the which at your entering ye shall find a coat tied, oh, whereon yet never, <laughs> never man said, Loose him and bring him hither. And if any man ask you, why do you loose him? Thus shall you say unto him, Because the Lord hath need of him. And they that were sent went their way, and found even as he had said unto them. And as they were loosening the colt, the owners there all said unto them, Why loose ye the colt? And they said, The Lord hath need of him. And they brought him to Jesus, and they cast their garments upon the colt, and they set Jesus thereon. And as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. And when he was come nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed be the King that cometh <laughs> in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. You may be seated if you want. Bless you. Yeah. I've got a title I want to read with you this afternoon. And uh, I want to thank, uh, thank everyone for coming out. I want to thank Brother Richard and, and all of you here at the church for inviting us to come and be with you. I want to try to do my best. I believe it's required of each and every one of us to do our best for the Lord. Glory. The title I want to leave with us this afternoon is, you think about this, the Lord needs what you've got, what you have. Oh, listen. The Lord needs what you have. I know that uh, he, he created the things that cheer on this earth. He gave us what we have got. Come on, Lord. Amen. Yeah. And He needs it. Uh huh. He needs it. How would it have been? What a blessing. A blessing it was in itself for the King of glory <laughs> to send into a town, <laughs> send two of His disciples yeah. into a town, Bless and Lord. say, when you go into that town, you're going to find a coat tie. Uh huh. And if anybody comes and asks you why you are loosening the coat, you tell them the Lord <laughs> needs what you got. Yeah. In other words, the Lord needs Bless it. Lord. He needs yes, that coat. Why? To use in His ministry yeah. for Him to be glorified. Amen. Amen. Glory. For Him, glory to God, to ride upon. Yeah. needs the coat. Amen. Think of what a blessing it would have been. Brother Richard, he could have stood back and yeah. when the Lord would be glorified and praised, he could have stood back dealing and said, that's my coat. Uh 
Uh -huh. That's my coat. And the master is riding up in my coat. Go uh -huh. glory to God. Amen. And he could have been proud of that. Uh -huh. Hey, uh -huh. you today. Thank God. You may not have a coat. You may not have a coat like that. But God wants what you got. Yeah. He needs what you have got. Amen. Oh, yeah. He yeah. absolutely needs it. Another time in the Bible, uh, something happened. And the Lord was in the ministry. And He seen a multitude of people coming. <laughs> Glory to God. A gathering all around Him. But He also seen something else. He seen some fishermen over there. Uh -huh. And he seen a boat over oh, there. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. It's just like he could have went up to Peter and said, Peter, I need your boat. I need your boat for a little while. Glory to God. And you know what? Uh, Jesus got in that boat. They launched out a little bit from the deep there into the deeper part. And Jesus used... Oh, Lord. The God. Jesus used that boat that day as a... As a a pulpit yeah. of stand uh, to preach and to yeah. yeah. preach unto the people. Glory yeah. to God. But you know what? I love what He did. He rewarded him yeah. for letting him use his boat. Yes. He will. Launch out on into the deep <laughs> and let down your nets for a drop. Launch out into the deep. And Peter said, Lord, oh, we, we talked all night long. And we've not caught anything. Nevertheless, yeah, at thy word, word, I'll let down the net. And when he had thus done, he, he enclosed a great multitude of fish. Amen. Amen. They had to call for help. Bless the Lord. Oh. Bless the Lord. The Lord needs what you've got. Oh, good preach. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm not saying what you would like to have. He needs what you have got. Oh, Amen. 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 He needs. He, I wrote down some things. Glory to God. First of all, first of all, glory to God. Fade up with me, brother. First of all, let me tell you. He needs your body. Yes. Oh, yes. He needs your body. Come on. Well, you take let me tell you also that the devil wants it also, but the Lord needs your body. Why, Brother Lee? Why? He wants to put his spirit down in there. Glory to God. And he puts his spirit down in there. Then he can use you and he'll reward you. Thank you, brother. Glory to God. Yes. Know ye not that your body yes, is the temple. temple of the Holy Ghost? Oh, Lord, you are not your own, but you are bought oh, with a price. Lord, they you are you bought God. with a price. Yes. He wants your body. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. He Thank really you. does. And another thing. Oh, another thing. He wants your voice. Yes. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. He wants your voice. Amen. What did John say? John the Baptist didn't boast about who he was. He said, I'm the voice <laughs> of one. Yeah, Preach a crowd in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. He wants my voice. Oh, God help us today. Too many people are giving things unto the devil that God wants. You may feel like you're worthless and can't do this and can't do that. Don't let the devil tell you that. Hallelujah. Don't let him tell you that. Come on. God wants what you have got. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you another thing. He knows what you got. Oh, yeah. He knows what you got. Yeah. Amen. He knows everything you got. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. And not only that, the Lord wants your mouth. Oh, Come on. Come on, Lee. Come on. Come on, The Lord wants your mouth. Why? There's people out here, multitudes of people out here, Brother Richard, that yes. need to hear the yes. words of God coming out of your mouth. They need to hear the word of God coming out of somebody's mouth. Yes. He needs. He needs that. Glory to God. My brother went back a while ago. To pray for these. Amen. Bless you, Brother Lee. 
The key. Oh, glory. Hallelujah, prayer. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. He got good. You see this hang? Oh, my Lord. I would have been everywhere. The Lord wants your hand. Yeah. Come on, preacher. Come Bless on. you, brother. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. <laughs> yes, sir. He said, you yeah. can lay hands on uh -huh. the sick. They and shall. They shall recover. Amen. He wants Lord. to use your yes, hand. Praise the Lord. Oh, God. Bless you. Glory to God. He wants to Glory use your God. hand. Amen. 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 to use. Come and on, you say, Ray. Brother Lee, I don't have much of it. Yes, you do. Come on, preacher. Yes, you do. Your time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Oh, Come on, Lord. church. Right. He wants to use your time. Yes. Come on. Uh -huh. Amen. There's a lot of people today that is wasting Oh, Lord 24 help. hours a day God for the today. devil. God for help. the works of the devil. Yes. To promote the works of the devil. Oh, They're Lord using it for that. Lord. And God wants that. Oh, yeah. I want your time. Yes. I want your time. Oh, Glory to God. Oh, Glory, to God. Oh, Glory to God. You know what's going to happen? If today should be our day to depart, Come on. what are we going to offer Him? My Lord. What are we going to offer Him? Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> God wants your life. He wants everything you got. Come on. Uh -huh. Amen. He gave it to you. Yes. Stop thinking about it. Yes, he he gave it to you. Yes, he, did. he gave you your health. He yes. gave you what you've got today. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Oh. He gave you a place that you've got yes. to live in. Yes. Hallelujah. And he, he wants you to offer it all unto Him. Yes. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. The time come. The time come when they crucified Jesus. Uh -huh. Come on. Some of us today, my wife and I, we already have a couple of grave plots. Oh up at, my. Uh, Kessler's Cross Think of Island. this one. Come on, Bert. Got a name on it, Brother Richard. Oh, we my. can count them as ours. Uh -huh. Jesus didn't have a. No. He didn't have a place to lay his head. No. And when it come time for him to die, can Did I borrow you your grave? grave? <laughs> yeah. Glory. On. He had to get a grave from somebody else. Come on. Glory. Amen. What to not. take and bury him. What but not. I'm glad of this. Thank you. He wasn't going to need a grave. And say, Lord, Lord, uh, I'll use me. I was thinking when I was studying for this message and all about a song. Jesus, use me. Please, Lord. Please, oh. please oh, don't refuse me. Sure. I know that there's a work yeah. for me to do. Come on, hallelujah. Think what a blessing it would have been for that man. And the, and the Bible says right here, you go down there, and when you enter into the city, you'll find a colt tied. And when they come out and ask you why you loosed them the colt, oh, you an tell honor. them, what an honor. The Lord has need of it. Amen. 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 The Lord has need of it. Yes. I was thinking, there must have been some kind of a relationship come on. between the owner of the colt. Come on. And a man called Jesus. Yeah. Because it didn't even say in here, who is this Lord? He didn't. He just let him go. <laughs> let him go. Yeah. Take my old coat and use it all you want to. Yeah. Amen. I think they were just sound that. like this. Thank God, especially after he got double blessed. Lord, you can use my boat anytime you want to. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, use me. Please don't refuse me. Because I know, I know that there's work for us to do. 
Glory to God. Amen. Amen. The thing I love about it, in the life of the Lord Jesus Christ, He did not ask permission from the church leaders of that day what He should do. Uh-huh. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. He didn't ask permission from none, from none of them. But He came to do His Father's will. Amen. His Father's will. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Sometimes when we in this life, we get too carried away. Too carried away with everyday things. We see something that needs to be done for the Lord, for the glory of the Lord, so that the Lord get praise and honor. Sometimes we say, I don't have time to do that. Sometimes we complain because maybe we do do it. But I cannot picture in my mind at all this afternoon of that man that was under that coat or that man called Peter, thank God, complaining because the Lord wanted to use the coat or to use the coat. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I know to build an assembly place. Come on. It takes so much time. It takes so much money. It takes all of this. But let me say this. Anything that you have done for the glory of the Lord is not in vain. Uh -huh. The Bible says our labor for the Lord is not in vain. Amen. He rewards you. He really will. Thank God. And I'm glad for Him today. Amen. We think about, <coughs> think about uh, uh, Moses there. Uh, whenever he was on the back side of the mountain, 80 years old, and he probably felt like my life's drawing down close to an end. But he seen something that got his attention. First of all, God's got to get your attention one way or the other. Amen. And He has ways of doing that. Sure. Amen. Whether it's through uh, like a radio broadcast that Sister Shirley was talking about. Whatever, God got a way of getting your attention. And Moses, that got Moses' attention, and he drawed nigh to see why that bush was on fire, but it wasn't being consumed. He had to view this, he had to look at it, and when he got close, God began to speak unto him. God began to let him know, Moses, get them shoes off. You're on holy ground. Amen. And when he drew near, God began to speak unto him, Brother Richard, as to what He wanted him to do. Amen. Yeah. I want you to go down into Egypt and set my people free. In other words, they've been in bondage too long. Go down there in Egypt and set my people free. Go before the king and tell him to let my people go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> what? Yeah. Lord, yeah. Yeah. I have an impediment of speech. Who made your mouth? <laughs> Come on! Hey, Who made your mouth? Hey, Get ready to go! Hallelujah! Take your brother with you! Glory to God! Go on down there! And he said, Lord, he won't even believe me! Who am I going to tell him sent me? Tell them that I am that I am hey. has sent you! Hey. Glory to God! Tell them that I am that I am! Has sent you. In other words, Moses, you might be 80 years old, but I want to use what you got. Yeah. Come on. Amen. He didn't know, Sister Susie, how, long, how much longer he was going to live. He was going to live 40 more years after that. Until he's about 120 years old, and still his body was going to be in good shape. Didn't need these glasses. Glory to God. His strength, he still had strength yet. God was going to use him. Use him. Amen. Use the last 40 years of his life working for the Lord. Yes. Glory to God. Aren't you glad for the Lord today? Amen. Amen. Jesus used John the Baptist. Amen. John the Baptist when he was here. Hallelujah. <laughs> he wasn't dressed finery. No, sir. A backwoodsman. Uh -huh. Amen. And dressed the way that he dressed. I don't know who else dressed like that. But there's one thing about him. God used his mouth. Yes. Uh -huh. Come on. 
Sure. God used his mouth to bring forth a message. There's one coming after me. Yes. Yeah. 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 Stoop down and unloose. He'll baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Amen. 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 Yeah. Glory to God. John told him that. And no, did he use that? You know what else he used? He used the ability Come on. that John the Baptist had uh -huh. to baptize people. Uh -huh. Yes. Come on. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Amen. Jesus, use me. Yeah. Please, Lord. Don't refuse me. Don't refuse me. Surely. I know that there is a work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bless oh, you, Lord. Yeah. I know there is. I know there is. Glory to God. Yes. Amen. 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 Reading, reading something in uh, in Sunday school this morning, after Sunday school, when we was ministering, and this is Psalm of David. Just it just came to my mind there. Uh, he said in chapter, I mean, uh, chapter hundred eight. He said, "Oh Lord, my heart is fixed. I will sing." And give praise even unto thy glory. Uh -huh. My heart's fixed. He said, Awake, psalm string and harp. I myself will awake early. I myself will awake early. In other words, he was wanting to give honor and glory and praise unto God. Yes. Unto God. He wanted everything to come alive. For the glory of God. Glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Praise Lord. God. God bless. Help him, Lord. Hallelujah. Help him, Lord. <laughs> Brother Richard, your son. Zach. 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 Come here, buddy. I met you with today. Help him, hallelujah. Help him, bless him, Lord. Glory. Let me tell you, first of all. We're in a battle for our soul. Yes. We're all in a battle for our soul. Yes. Amen. Here's a young man. I listen to him play. I listen to him sing. Do it for the right reason. Amen. Do it for the right reason. Yes. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Yes. Why are you saying that, Brother Lee? Because the devil yes, goes about. Yes. Uh -huh. As a roaring lion, yes. seeking whom he may devour. Amen. There had been people in times past with the anointing of the Holy Ghost upon their life that used to lift up God and praise God, and the devil come by and made him an offer. Oh, yeah. Come on, yeah. made him an offer. Good. Yeah, it looked my, good, didn't it? But you know what's going to happen? That offer he made oh, is not going to leave gonna this earth. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But the one the Lord made. Yeah. He yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I encourage you. I encourage you. Yeah. Offer, give it all unto the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Sing it from your whole heart. Yeah. Lord. Yeah. Play the music for the glory of God. Yeah. And say, yes, God. It's an honor. It's a privilege. It's a blessing to be able to sing praises for you. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Preach you, Lord. Preach you, Lord. Jesus said, go over into the city and when you enter in, you'll find a coat tie. Oh, listen. That don't sound like much of a job, does it? Well, you'll find a coat tied. And when you go, loosen the coat and bring him to me. And if any man asks you, oh, uh, my goodness. why do you need the coat? Why are you loosening the coat? Yeah. You tell him the Lord <laughs> needs him. Oh, Amen. glory. The Lord needs him. The Lord needed the boat uh -huh. to preach out of. Lord. He needed you. He needed your body. Yes. To put the Spirit of the living God down yes. in there. Yes. That you may be able to open your mouth and praise the God of glory. Yes. Amen. Yes. Don't let the devil take away anything yes. from you. Yes. Don't let him have it. Yes. He, don't want, he don't need it. He won't do you yes. good. Yes. Oh, the presence of the Lord will do you good. Yes. Oh. 
Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus, use me. Yeah. Please, Lord, don't refuse me. I know that there's a work. Yeah. That I can do. It may not be much, but <laughs> it may not be much. Yeah. Come on, preacher. Hallelujah. If it's the only thing to do, Brother Richard, is let him buy my coat. <laughs> the one true Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Glory to God, I believe he could have found like it. If it's the last trip that coat makes, it's worth it. Yeah. Because the King of Glory will build it back. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, Glory to God. The Lord won't let you down. He won't let you down. Not at all. He'll help you. We're fighting a battle today. The adversary goes about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He makes people propositions. But the Lord will say, let me use your mouth for a while. Come on. You got a neighbor over there who hadn't heard about the Lord. Let me use your mouth to go over there and speak to him. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you know this. We are one person when we are not under the anointing. You hear what I'm saying? Uh huh. You're just a common, everyday human being. Uh huh. But when you are in the will of the Lord, mm -hmm. oh, and the Lord uses you, yeah. you become a different person. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. You get yeah. bold where you wasn't bold before. Mm -hmm. You'll find words to say where you had to stutter and stammer before. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Moses, think about him. Come up before a king and had an army out there. Yeah. Let my people go, thus yeah. saith the Lord. Yeah. Finally, Pharaoh said, Who is this Lord? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Right. So you didn't take a long to find out, did it? <laughs> Not long to find out at all. Hallelujah. 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 But God went about. God went about doing some great things and helping people. Aren't you glad for him today? Yeah. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad for him? Hallelujah. Amen. Mind the Lord. If there's anybody in here today yes. that you've been thinking about. <coughs> Come on, Lee. Giving your time unto the Lord. <clears throat> Giving your life unto the Lord. The Lord wants your life. Amen. He wants it. Yeah. He'll use it for His glory. Amen. Amen. And you can lay down at the end of the road Come with on. peace in your soul. Amen, yes. Glory to Sweet God. Peace. Yes. If there's anybody in here today that wants the Lord to use you. He'll do it. Come on. He'll do it. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe the man said the Lord has need of him. Yeah. I believe he just backed it up, Brother Richard. <laughs> take him. Yeah. Take him. Hallelujah. Yeah. Can we do that, church? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, my. Use him. Hallelujah. Let's stand today, if you would. Let's stand. Hallelujah. The closer we got to coming down here, the more I felt like we was in the will of the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I believe it's God's will today to use whoever He wants to. Amen. There's a song that says, he walks the dark hills. Yes, he does. He walks the dark hills. I believe he goes about, Sister Shirley, looking for somebody. Yes. Looking for somebody that he'd save. He goes about looking for somebody that if you will only give me more time of your life, you would like to be back. If you only surrender unto me, then your life can be better. Glory to God. Don't let the devil lie to you today. 
Jesus wants whatever you have. Yeah. Not what you're planning on having. Come on. Not what you're planning on having. You know what the Lord did with a man called Peter? Peter messed up one time after another. He just plain messed up. He wept over it. He cried bitterly because he had denied the Lord. But the Lord was still wanting to use Peter's mouth. And after the day of Pentecost, he stood there and he preached to a multitude of people in Jerusalem. And 3,000 people uh, was added to the church that day because God used His mouth. And He wanted to. Bow your heads if you would. By the Lord, church. Heavenly Father, we offer unto you to stay praise, honor, and glory. Lord, we know tonight this afternoon that we are not our own, but we are bought with a price. Oh, yes. Everything that we got, everything you allow us to have, Lord, we're to use for your glory, for your praise, and for your honor. God, help us not to be cheated out by the affairs of Satan and the altars of the devil. But Lord, to give unto you our boat the colt, our animals, anything and everything we've got, Lord, that you want, let us offer them unto you that you may use them. Take us and use us for your glory. Have your way in this service this day. We pray in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Amen. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk to folks and we'll say to stay right there, Brother Lee. If you ever need anything, just holler. If I can be of any help, just holler. The Lord spoke to me. I don't know if He spoke to anybody else today or not. I know He has. He spoke to more than me. I want all that will and wants to to gather around the altar. I've said if you ever need anything, just holler to a whole lot of people, Lee. I've said if you, if you ever need anything, need any help, just holler. I ain't said it a whole lot to the Lord. How many's been touched by this message? The Lord has need of you. The devil's told you that you're not qualified, you're not good enough, you don't live good enough, you don't know enough. But the Lord needs you. He needs all of us. He called you for a purpose. Moses couldn't talk plain. John the Baptist wasn't a pleasant thing to look on. Folks, can we say, Lord, if you need anything, just honor. Bless the Lord. Come on, come on. Let's do it to, for Him today. He said, Lord, if you need anything, Father. If you have need of what I got, it's yours, Lord. If you have need of me, I'm yours. Why don't we just bow on our knees, the ones that can and the ones that can't sit and grab you a seat around here close and say, Had, had thine own way, Lord, had thine own way, thou art the Father.
anybody can say this. What I got to say is important to you, Lord. What 
my feet can do, Lord, it's, it's, it's very useful to you. What my hands can do is useful to you. My mind, my heart. Hallelujah, Trevor. Touch my people here at the church, Lord. I know there's, oh, they're, they're here today, Lord, willing. They're willing, Lord, to be used of you, to be led by you. I know the enemy has tried, Lord, to defeat so many of them, try to tear them down. But I believe you've lifted them up today, Lord, from your precious word, Lord. And a wonderful man of God that delivered the word, we're so thankful. I'm stirred and I'm touched and I'm blessed, Lord. Blessed be thy name, blessed be thy name. Amen, amen. 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 Blessed be thy name. Zach, the last verse. But Lee, if you've got something else to say, say it, brother. The last verse of that song did I mention that says how many? How many of you have read that scripture over and over? And I don't know how many times that I preached that scripture. But uh, opened up in a brand new way. Yeah. Listen. Faithful through it. 